Okay, so do you want to know how to cut bricks? Well, this is what I did. Um, I'm making a, a base for a light outside and I needed to cut these half pieces here. So people do it different ways, um, but I'm going to show you how I do it. I use this carbide tip um, scriber. I don't know if you can focus on it or not. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Let me see. They come over here. Up, oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right. I use this uh, carbide tip to scribe the brick, okay? Don't mind this. I lost the tip, so I put a little. I put a, a nut on here just to hold the tip in place, but this tip pulls out. Let's try to focus here for a minute. But anyway, that's what I use to scribe the brick. So I already scribed it. You can see it on both sides. Let me uh, put this on the iPod. I mean <laughs> the tripod. Sorry. Okay, so get a nice square line I just use this 90 degree chingadero right there and I just scribed it all sides to make sure that it's cut evenly all the way around and so what you'll see next is me cutting it and I'm gonna go deeper than what you're about to see on the video I'm probably gonna go half inch deep even though the video will only show a surface cut. Um, the surface cut didn't work out. As you can see here, I messed up a few. Here's another one. Here's another one. And so I went a little deeper than what you're about to see. But I'm using a roto tool with a diamond blade so that cuts really really easy and you'll see that in the video so even going half inch is easy to do so let's go on to the next video all right well I've got it marked and I'm using this roto tool with the uh, diamond blade on here so we're going to go ahead and do our first mark and then I'll shut the video and do the rest uh, off camera so that I can get this done. So let me get it set up. All right, so here we go. Okay, I lied. I did it all. Okay, as you can see, I cut a little deeper than what you saw in that video. Only because, like I said, when I did it uh, the first time, it didn't break real good. So let's, let's see what it does. Oh, hold on a second. Let me make sure that we're on the right page here. Here we go. All right, so... Let's get the chisel. I'm not sure I even need it. Maybe I can just, hmm, let me try something different. Something I haven't tried yet. I think if I just put something underneath it, it might break it. Uh, so let's try that. I'm just gonna put something underneath like this here and see if I can just kind of snap it. Yes, look at that. Look at that. So, um, that's all you need to do, basically. What I'm gonna do is maybe clean that up a little bit. This one's okay. But basically, that's all you need to do. So that's my way of doing it. It may not be the right way. 
Um, it's a very easy way to do it without getting real complicated. If you don't cut it deep enough, see that my cut is probably a half an inch or more. And so if you cut it right at the surface like I did and try what I just tried, it did not work out. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching and we'll go on to our next project, whatever that might be. Appreciate you watching.